Tschüss. I haven't watched it. I don't think it has any exclusive tech. It's basically just the single player run, but with two people in it. Which, I mean, it could save quite a bit of time on certain missions for, like, specific shit, you know? And he's alive. Just need a friend for that. Me and Killer wanted to do co-op. It shouldn't be that hard. I mean, the run is really simple and straightforward, so... It's not like the barrier for entry is that high. You, I mean, you could play co-op as well through Dolphin, like, over the internet. In split screen, no less. Yeah. Yeah, Ben, the mods weren't working, so. Back to time splitters. Bonk. 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 That's a pretty good constellation prize. This is pal, yeah. Fifty hertz pal. Ah, Cortez, you're back. Over here, quick. Cortez, we're pinned down here. We can't get through. I need to unlock all the levels, so I'm doing a full game run to do so. And then I was gonna do eugenics and get get that world record, and then machine wars. I, mean, I have eugenics world record, but it could be a lot better on Pal. No, I live uh, my own, like three months ago, I got my own apartment. Damn, it's pretty sick. Got myself a one bedroom. I've been living in, it's been pretty dope. Independence is fog. There is no loss of speed. Pal runs the same speed as six, uh, six, 50 hertz and 60 hertz run the same speed. 50 hertz is literally just faster. There's nothing to compensate for. This PAL game does not run slower. This PAL game runs faster. I mean, like, the base game runs the same speed, but the vehicles are faster on PAL. It's a Van Helsing. Hey, dude. This game's a banger. It's a banger. This game fucks. This game fucks more than John and Kate plus eight. I'm in a whole goddamn Mormon village worth of kids. So cluster belly. A wife splitters. Wife who splitters, dude. Well, I mean, we know exactly why that's the case. It's, it's because when they tried to compensate for the lack of speed on 50 hertz, they overcompensated. 
Making the vehicles too fast. Uh, who cares what it means? It's provocative. It gets the people going. You have Frosted Flakes? Are they great? Did you know that the voice actor who did Cortez in this game also voiced Tony the Tiger from Frosted Flakes for like 10 years? Devs are European, so they probably just fixed the PAL version. I mean, it wasn't super uncommon for PAL versions to be fixed. But yeah, I'm sure that them being European helped. The problem is, well, it's not really a problem. It's actually like a good thing, you know, is that they overcorrected on the vehicles, making them faster on 50 hertz. Unless they produced the 50 hertz version first and then like made the 60 hertz vehicles too slow, but I'd Kind of doubt it that they had produced the 50 hertz version first. Oh, what? Really? What? Ooh, Captain Ash. I was not far enough forward, I guess. That's weird. It's the stairs. I'm a little rusty. I haven't done the early game levels in a while. Oh, door stuck! Also, I didn't grab the grenades. I'm not gonna have enough rockets to kill the uh, tank. That's so what they did for TS1. They made 1.0 first because it came out in North America. They must be hiding something down there. That's what they did for TS1. They made 1.0 first, but since it came out in North America first, they made 1.1 to put out for release. So what? They made PAL first. And they would have made NTSC first, right? And then made PAL. And then made, uh, PAL. That would, that's the only way it makes sense, really. Because, like, most of the world would be using 60 hertz. Are NTSC and PAL still a thing? No. Basically, wherever you live, like, both hardware is supported. NTSC basically just became standard. Pretty groovy work, space dude. Looks like you've done this before. Cool. There's no way to follow Callus through that gate. We'll have to take a more sneak. Remember, your primary mission is Shit, to apprehend the time traveler and find a way Listen, to pal. Where are you going, Harry? You're gonna open the. Oh, you are. Okay, cool. Just from over there somehow. Bum, 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 bum. Said. Mansion's next. No, I know. Mansion is after. Dude, yeah, the vehicles drive so much faster. Holy shit. 
That's wild. Still got Russian Connection, then Callus Express, and then Mansion. To prevent screen tearing, the frame rate of the game is based on the frame rate of the TV. So you'd have to change the frame rate to 50, from 60 to 50, converting from NTSC to PAL. The problem is that the fastest, cheapest way to do that was to just change the frame rate of the game. And that also would change the game speed most of the time. Yep. Like DMC1 is just slower at 50 hertz, like a lot slower. Like 20% slower. So it's pretty standard, like most games are the same way. You just don't ever hear about that because it's like only a thing that was really relevant back then. Because now everything supports 60 hertz plus, you know, like my monitor supports 144 hertz, so. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I'm out of practice on this section. Also, I feel like it might be slightly different on 50 hertz, just like a feel thing. I'll probably just do like every IL again, honestly. But it won't take me very long to get good times on 50 hertz. I already have record on like every level on 60 hertz, so. It does definitely feel a little bit different though, because the game is running at 10 FPS lower okay, everywhere. Then, here's our disguises. I could only find one that would fit me, but what the heck? This is the 60. Anything goes, baby. Uh, that sounds awful. That sounds awful, Buster Belly. <laughs> GTA Online just seems awful. Couldn't imagine playing games slower just for being in the UK. I couldn't imagine being in the UK, to be honest, just at all. No, but actually you wouldn't know because no one had the internet, so it's like, who cares, right? You wouldn't even know that you're playing games slower. I mean, most people legit just didn't have internet, so... You would never know unless someone told you. You just be like, this is just the way the games are meant to be played. To access sector three. Well, this must be the starter motor. But according to this gate, look, turbines. That explains why you need water pressure. You better find the control. Imagine being in the UK. Also, on top of that, imagine also having internet at the time. Like the Venn diagram of people who played video games in the UK at that time period and had internet. It's got like two people in it. You ever play the multiplayer for this game? Yeah, it fucks. Super fun. I mean, if most of the time I just played it by myself with bots. Water pressure is stored in sector one. Sector one foreman, report immediately. I don't know. GTA Online seems less like a video game and more like just a babysitter. The average age of like the GTA 5 online player is like 12, I'm pretty sure. Okay, now you just need to fire up the main generator and we should be good to go. Oh, I play with myself all the time. Okay, power is back on. I enjoy wrecking noobs of all ages. Competitive esports GTA 5. I know if it's too easy, then it's like not even fun, in my opinion. Dude, I'm driving so fast. Holy shit. 50 hertz coming through. Beep, beep.
Zoom. So go wicked, dude. Zooming. Oh, dude, there is a bajillion and a half character models in this game. It's it's great. Like the amount of work the character artists had to do in this game is insane. God, I remember time splitters. I like that it's like a very neutral response. I remember time splitters. Not even like I remember this game being sick or like I remember this game being bad. Just I remember. Just like <laughs> neutral response. I love it. <laughs> That's gold. Like TS2 a lot. Honestly, I've not played TS2 or TS1 very much at all. But I plan on running them and potentially getting record in all of them. Just because I like this game a lot. It seems like it'd be fun. Time Spurs Trilogy speedrun fun. Let's find Callus and save the world. Bro, move. You there. I must not forget my training. I actually do the level correctly. I forgot my training. I wonder if the timing on the helicopter shots is going to be different on this version because I'm playing on 50 hertz. It might be. I might have to relearn some callous stuff. That was really fast. Hit the fastest cycle. Fifty hertz. Try turning sixty. Oh, you really are ancient with that joke. God damn. <laughs> Why am I trying to kill future me? I'm not. I am interrupting his shooting animations so that he will shoot faster. Uh, not the fastest cycle. Ladder's faster too? I don't know, I tested it, but I don't think any of the normal game runtime speed things are different. The only thing that we confirmed was actually faster was um, vehicle move speed. Like all the vehicles in Sheen Wars move faster and the buggy moves faster. And like all the cars that you can drive move faster. There could be other things too. But that's all we know for sure right now. I had like a walking speed test and it's, it was the same right, on both versions. We also tested elevators, and those were the same too. What's up, Team Daphne? Howdy. Good to see ya. I was supposed to read that checkpoint there. By Fergor. Heads up. 
Can't fucking see him. How much shorter is DMC3 New Game Plus compared to New Game? Will I ever do it? No, New Game Plus is cringe. In basically every game. It's boring. You know what you do in DMC3 New Game Plus? Every single room, as soon as the enemies spawn, holy water. Do that for like uh, 260 rooms or whatever, and then boom, you beat the game. Okay, I'm gonna get my photos Quite the speed run. Because you just start the game with unlimited holy waters. Even on DMD? Yeah. I mean, you're going to have unlimited money because it's New Game Plus. Fastest strat's going to almost always be uh, spamming holy waters. Oh, that's just great. Now we're trapped in here with the dead people. Oh, I feel cold. If you wanted to run that's like really fast, just run like Heaven or Hell. I mean, that's also a meme and really boring because all you do is just shoot the whole run, but. Sub Zen, I'm doing good, man. How are you? Good, some firepower. Nice, first try. Oh yeah. Let's go. Good deer hunter skip. Oh, I didn't kill her. Hopefully they didn't fuck up the spawns. Now oh, we're chilling. Now this is real gaming. None of that fork knife trash. Goddamn right, brother. Jump button was the worst thing to ever happen to video games. That's why I love Goldeneye. If you're playing a first person shooter with anything but an N64 controller, you're playing it wrong. Back in my day, we didn't need to be able to aim. The game did it for us. It's called aim assist. Look it up. Hello, I shot you in the face. These kids know nothing. Your fancy jump buttons and new game plus and online multiplayer. Back in my day, if I wanted to play games with my friends, I had to walk over to his god dang house. Ah, oh, I missed the skip. What's up, Doughboy? What's up, Kevin? Dang it! What's up, Zen? I'm doing good, man. How are you? I tried to do a challenge run for Left 4 Dead 2 today, but uh, the mod that I tried to do first didn't work, and then the second mod I tried to do was too easy. So I tried to fix the second mod myself to make it harder, but I am not that experienced apparently, so it didn't work. I gotta get Patrick to make it harder for me. 
We're doing like every enemy's a charger in Left 4 Dead 2, but the problem was there was only four chargers and it turns out that's really easy. I need like 10 chargers. I want it to be hard. Okay, so like, can I hit this trick? That'd be cool. Can I get one lies below skip? Cause like, I actually haven't practiced the level at all without the trick, so. looks good. Hopefully I get it. Oh, I didn't even hit the... Oh my god, that's cringe. Didn't even hit the teleport. Feels bad. Did the physics on that box is like definitely different. It falls way faster. No comments about the size of my butt, okay? Come on. You can do it. I got a teleport, but not the right one. This is so sad. This looks like the mansion. That's Pacito, play Alexa. Yeah, look at how fucking fast the box falls. You can see you did completely different on 50 hertz. Shouldn't really affect much. The way I set up the boxes might have to be a little bit different though. This is so sad. We have to find out who the time traveler is and how he's connected to the crystals and the time splitters. Also, I'm getting like RNG different animations from the box. Like that time it flew all the way to the other side and shit. It's weird. Where like before the box animation was always the same at 60 hertz every time. Oh, there we go. What's up, Salty? There we go. Like third try, slow. So I got it first try on my PB, that sucks, but whatever. Wow, you bitch. Get a bandage over its eye. Come on, 
let's go get that freak. We'll show him that his zombies aren't the only ones who can come back from the dead. How did I do that? How did I do what? A teleport? So basically what what happens is like there is a thing that sucks you down into the next area. But if you use the box, you can like wedge yourself in the corner in a way that gets you into like a specific coordinate. And when you're in that coordinate, um, and the you're in like a you're far enough away so that you can't fall in the hole, but you're inside the trigger for the hole to fall down. So what ends up happening is the game tries to pull you down, but it can't because you're not close enough. And so what it what it ends up doing is teleporting you instead, instead of like actually moving your physical body. And when that happens, there are like one, there are 11 different spots you can get teleported to. And what angle the box is facing determines which port you get teleported to. And one of the places that you can get teleported to has the level not loaded for whatever reason. And so if you get teleported to the one that has it not loaded, then you can just walk off the map and land in the boss fight near the end of the level. And then once you do the boss fight, mission's basically over. Saves like four and a half minutes if done first try. But it's like very, it's essentially random. It, it's not random. Like it's quite literally not random, but you know, it is essentially random. You can get better at it, but I don't think you'll ever be able to make it 100% consistent. What's the job is this? Good evening. But yeah, it's a huge time save. And that time save is not in the current full game world record, so. Oh, it's the right, that's right. To the right. Then these two. Then the left. Then bottom right again. Left. Bottom right. Unfortunately, mouse and keyboard mod doesn't have support for that section, so... Unfortunate. I want those grenades. Hi, hey, Spectato. How you doing, dude? See ya. This is a hot speedrunning game. No. <laughs> There are some individual level runs that are very good, that are very old, and a lot of them don't have video proof, but full game, no. Full game, like, no one runs. There hasn't been a good record, really. Like, full game record is an hour and nine minutes, but now with, like, mouse and keyboard and pal you could definitely bring it down to under an hour which is my goal for full game there's a senior executive's office down here I need to access the terminal. Crow's office is below us but the whole floor is locked off because that skip that I did says four and a half minutes and world record doesn't do the skip so there's four and a half minutes, and then World Record's also not on PAL, so that's a minute and 15 saved for just playing on PAL. And then Mouse and Keyboard just like saves a little bit of time here and there on just optimizations. And just obviously playing better in new strats since those runs as well saves time. Community some of the best like a fucking... 58.30, basically. Got it. I've unlocked access to Crow's private floor. Hopefully I'll find the evidence I need on his terminal. 
If you get some kind of award for speedrunning, you get awarded like the number one turbo version, like myself. You get a little shiny trophy on speedrun.com. Pal version got figured out? Yes, it did. Um, basically, all that needed to be done was like all of the values for all of the keyboard controls were exactly the same on both versions. Just needed to update the version information in the actual thing, which was really easy. It was just one value, so. I didn't do it though, no. Nervy did. Nervy Destroyer. Okay. Help me. Helped out with that. This is amazing. According to these plans, there's a massive laboratory complex hidden right under this building. Challenges were the best part. Challenges are fun, man. So the rumors of there's a category called 100% that I want to run. True. The where you have to gold medal all place. the challenges and leagues. As well as do a hard uh, story run. I'm going down there to get proof. This could really make my career. That'd be fun. No sign of Crow up here, Cortez. You'd better go with her. I've got the elevator code for the labs. If you're coming, it's still to see you. I still can't get to Cat race is the most competitive thing in this whole game. By the face. Ironically, it's really competitive, the cat races. Might not be the most competitive thing, but it is very competitive. Like, it is one of the more competitive things in the game, actually. Funny enough. Apparently it's faster at 60 hertz though, or the cat controls better at 60 hertz. I don't remember. Should probably make it against the rules to switch refresh rates mid run though. Otherwise you'll be like in and out of the main menu all the time, changing the refresh rate. I wouldn't lose any time to change it. Ooh, bitch. Thank you. Hey. 20 years. It's been 84 years. We'll see if that reload checkpoint thing works or if it's more complicated than just playing at 50 hertz. Subtle. Subtle. I can get the air shower open, no problem. You go through. I'm going to change into this lab coat as a disguise. This is a world record pace for the sale. Favorite gun in the series? Honestly, Injector's up there. It's fun. I, flare guns gotta take the cake though, just because multiplayer is just so fun. Probably flare gun. It's like the most rewarding gun to use. You know, it's hard, but you hit somebody directly with that shit and they just like go running around on fire. Oh, 
Probably not a record pace anymore. Okay though. This is still a full game run. The rocket launcher is cool too, yeah. Explosions are always a good thing. Honestly. Fire, explosions. Game over, man. Game over. Back up. We need back up. All hostile specimens must be terminated before access to land. That's right, I decided I shouldn't do that. Does it block that guy? I missed him. Not anymore. Best part of the run, the puzzles. Everyone's favorite. Okay. With both terminals being hacked at once, this should work. Just keep it up. Your other cells can handle the fences. I know it sucks. I had to do it twice too. I know it sucks. I had to do it twice too. Oh, I missed the grenade. Trolling. My shotgun's not missing. Okay, now it is. XD. <gasps> XD! 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 Okay, we're good. Troll face. That one hit, but it just didn't kill for some reason, because the game is good. Damn it, I'm hacking again. Damn it, I'm hacking again. I prefer the fight. This time you're number three. You have to hack this second terminal. You have to complete the chain or it'll cause a paradox. One wrong move and we're all paradox. Hacker mans. Oh, I forgot to reload checkpoint before I did this section. I'm lucky they're even spawning this fast. I trolled myself. It's all good. One wrong move and we're all paradoxed. Yeah, let's see if I can just do like the turnaround strat. Because now we're on 50 hertz. So like... In Phoenix's records for this level... Once the cutscene's over, he just turns around and they're all there. Facing the wrong direction, and you just insta kill them. Come on, come on! I want to nail this guy. What's up, Kyle? Oh, I just realized that I've been ignoring YouTube chat. Oh well, I'll fix that after the blood screen. I like the cutscene was longer, but holy shit, dude! Look at how easy that boss fight is. Consistent and free. We need a Time Splitters fan made game now? Oh, they're working on it, dude. They're working on it. What's up, Ruby? I'm doing great. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, this is 100% it was pal. It was 50 hertz that was causing that. That consistent quick kill at the end of that level. For sure. Also, I should save an insane amount of time on this level because... Uh, this level saves about a minute on 50 hertz. As you will soon see. Stop being cringe? I'm sorry. It's, it's uh, literally impossible, dude. I am born cringe. I'm a born again cringe shin, dude. I'm not religious, but I am a cringe shin. Yeah, it's a lot like the hacking about Bioshock one, really. What's the hell's a lot? 
Thanks for the good luck. I appreciate that. I remember my first time playing RE4. I do actually, surprisingly enough. It was at my, uh, my dad's friend's house and he had, look at how fast you go in this tank. Holy shit. Look at how much faster I'm going, dude. That's insane. <laughs> Uh, anyways, yeah, I was at my dad's friend's house and he had a big surround sound system set up with a TV. And uh, it was fucking awesome. It scared the shit out of me. I didn't get past village. And the chainsaw guy scared the shit out of me. Because his shit was so sick. It was so loud that, like, legit, we made a joke that... I played Gears of War for the first time that same day. Um, made a joke that it was so loud that when I was playing Gears of War, it felt like I got shot in real life when I got shot in the game. I was playing RE4 at that, that volume too. Scared the shit on me. Haters will hate, but loud does equal scary. That's just true. Just so make the game loud. Scare the shit out of you. Imagine having a dad. Honestly, sometimes I wish I didn't, so. Loud also equals funny? It's true. PewDiePie is evidence of that. Your dad was obsessed with his surround sound system. One time our backyard neighbor came over and asked us to turn it down. That made his day. Like that, that should make anyone's day, honestly, though. That's... You know you're doing it right if you do that. It's like... The, the only second consolation prize of that would be like... If you're fucking and your girl is so loud that people come over and ask you to calm down. Like, that, that's a dub. You're doing good, right? Like, Implantation procedure in progress. Implantation procedure Bro, you're making me and my wife sad. Please stop fucking so loud. Our relationship is in shambles because of this. She keeps asking me why I don't sound like that. Frankly, it's destroyed my confidence, so please stop. I'm on it. So AI Cortez should also drive faster, which is sick. Oh wait, they're going the opposite direction? Whoa, 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 whoa. They usually go the other way. I guess this is different on Pal. Like legitimately different. I guess because the timing is different. Because I'm just going so much faster on this version that like, I guess we're like outpacing the, the robots. I wonder if you even need to shoot at all. On 50 hertz, you just like AFK. I mean, Cortez is still gonna like drive like a goddamn idiot, but whatever faster. He drives like an idiot faster. Oh, 
Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Dude, oh my god, I'm zooming! The buggy is so much faster. Yeah, you can tell. And it's got better handling, too, I think. But 50 hertz is definitely the way to speed on this game. Like, it just is better. There's, like, not a single downside to 50 hertz. Holy shit. Also, apparently this robot goes faster, but I don't think that actually saves time. Because, uh... It doesn't end until you kill everything anyways. And I don't think it moving faster makes it easier to kill them fast. Could be wrong about that, though. So I'm terrible at this section and it needs a lot of practice, but this is the IL I was going to do today. This and eugenics. I mean, I still beat my gold here, for sure. There it is, the worker's entrance. Like by like 40 seconds. Even though that was terrible. Too easy. <laughs> Nice, Cluster Valley. Get your melons out for the monkeys. My full game run is just terrible. Trust me, so there's plenty of time saved. This is actually record pace. Come out. This run's terrible though. Like, honestly, like, your full game is not even really good until you get, like, a 102 or something. That's, like, when full game actually starts being good. So I record I did something really cool today. I spent like three hours playing through Doom Eternal and I recorded every single cutscene at 1440p at like over 60 FPS with like all of the settings on to the highest and with ray tracing on. And I like recorded all of the cutscenes myself. So now I have every single Doom Eternal cutscene with like a reshade and ray tracing on and 1440p. It's kind of based. Because I'm making like a really big Doom Eternal video soon. And I needed that for that. And uh, kind of sick, not gonna lie. It was pretty cool. My 4080 is a beast. 
This is wild. I was getting like 250 FPS with the ray tracing on at 1440p, like in a lot of spots. I had to download the newest version of the game to be able to do it though, because the driver issues on 1.1. But I needed to do that anyways because I wanted the tag one and tag two DLC cutscenes as well, so. And now there's like an easy way to switch back into the tune versions. But I had to fucking download the whole thing, which sucked. But it didn't take that long. My internet's pretty good now. Like gigabyte down. Nice, I got the skip. Let's fucking go. I haven't gotten that in a run, like, basically ever. Are you dying? Hello? Oh, I forgot to go to the door. Trolling. I didn't spawn in the droid echoes because I didn't go to the door. What's up, Silent? How you doing, dude? Another Goliath? No chance to hack it this time. All oh, two of those need to miss. <laughs> What's happening in the hack? How oh, the splits? Very good. Pal plus doing a fuck ton of IL grinding makes uh, my PB completely free and honestly, probably record. I'd be shocked if I didn't get a record this run. Quick, Cortez, turn that gun against them. Just relaxing at home, we got work tonight, for sure. Hope work goes well. The relaxing is is enjoyable. You watched that video? I'm glad you liked it. Well, I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching it. It's doing pretty good for a Doom video. Doom videos don't really perform that well. And it's doing solid, so I must have done the marketing correctly. Thank you. I'm trying to get firing on all cylinders for all three channels. I want to be putting out, like, a video on the main channel once a month, and then... Once a week, uploads on the highlight, and then every day on the archive. If I was doing that, dude, I'd be killing it so hard, but... Finally getting working on the, the main channel videos again. I wanted to do another challenge run today, but the mod was not working. I have to get that fixed. Any thoughts on the new RE4 remake? I think Ashley is less cute slash hot, so the game must be trash, right? <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, honestly, what, from what I've seen, it looks mid. I don't really have like hugely high expectations for it, but I am more than open to it being good, and I have an open mind about it, and I hope it's good. Humor is what makes it. 
Honestly, I don't really feel like I'm cracking that many jokes. I just usually kind of just explain what's happening. But thank you. Hardest boss in the game. That's what it is, Anya. As you can see, obviously, hardest boss. In Good job, Cortez. Good job, Cortez. Well, I'm glad you had a good laugh. Hell yeah. Too easy. I mean, I always love to hear that. Enjoy the stream, dude. Appreciate you. I don't try to... F I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't really try to force the comedy. Like, it, when I'm writing, I just write what happens, you know? Like, I just write about what happens, and I usually have a point to what I'm writing. And... If a joke comes into my head, I just make the joke. But I never, like, this need a joke. I need to come up with a joke, you know? Another five minute time save? No, not quite. I saved like 25 seconds there. Actually, that's it. I don't need to do anymore. I should bring it up to like six minutes here easily. Yeah, he's a legend. You would think he'd do the robots considering he's literally a robot, but no. He's much better dance moves than the robot. I missed the pause buffer. That's tragic. At least I know he won't be stuck. He is doing the robot? No, he is the robot. He was doing the disco. With the point move, you know? Classic 70s dance move. Thanks for the boost, homie. All right, I wasn't supposed to kill one of those guys. Try to get them to keep the door open. Hearing you roast someone's always fun. Yeah, I'm pretty toxic. What's up, Love Riley Reed? Nice name. <laughs> Me too, dude, me too. That's a relic of the past that has not been relevant for a while, but it's still funny. Can we have pancakes during stream, please? You are more than welcome to eat as many pancakes during my stream as you want. The only rule is I don't serve them, so it's self-serve. BYOP. Bring your own pancake.
Oh my god, cluster balls. Cluster belly rather. That is a curse ass username. Dude, pancakes? Like, I haven't had pancakes in forever, though. I, I try to eat, like, somewhat healthy. And pancakes are one of, if not the most, like, unhealthy breakfast foods. Every breakfast food is unhealthy in America. Like, we just eat, like, dog shit when it comes to the morning for some reason. It's like, wake up. It's like, what do I want in my diet for this morning? Get me off started right, you know, get the metabolism going. Kickstart the whole day. It's like, what do I want? I want sugar. Give me a bowl of fucking cereal. 12 grams of sugar per bowl. But two, like two grams of sugar in the milk. Because in America we have sugar in our milk. He's in the way. Move, bitch. Get out of the way. I got it. And then like... Or it's like you want pancakes, you want like waffles or something. Yeah, how about just straight carbs and then you put sugar on top of the carbs. Delicious. I mean, it is delicious. That cannot be denied, but it is also definitely not actually food. I don't know if that actually could be considered food. It's certainly not nutritious. Personally, I start my day off with 10 waffles, 10 pancakes, five glasses of orange juice, and to top it all off, five strips of bacon. Actually though, I will eat like five strips of bacon for breakfast. I did today. Joke's on you, can't eat cereal because of the milk. I'm lactose. Damn, you're lactose? I heard you're really fucking intolerant, to be honest. Be careful. People get canceled around here. Stay off Twitter. Eat the cereal without the milk. You know, some cereal is just better without milk. Like Cinnamon Toast Crunch is just better without milk. It gets soggy way too fast. It's not, it's not worth it. Like when I was young, when I was eating cereal, dude, when I ate Cinnamon Toast Crunch, one of my favorites, by the way. You know what I did, dude? I would pour myself a glass of milk. And I'd pour myself a, a glass of cereal. And I would just drink the cereal in between, like, eating the... Drink the milk in between eating the cereal. You know? Like, got two glasses at the ready, just fucking chugging them both. Yours used to be corn pops. Corn pops are good. Honey Nut Cheerios actually is surprisingly fuck as well. Yeah, I would literally drink a gallon of milk every two days. It was disgusting. That's why I try not to drink milk anymore. Like, I would just drink like glass after glass after glass of chocolate milk all day. Like tall glasses too. Your dad is a bacon fiend. Dude's pushing 70, still eating bacon every day. Dude, I mean, bacon fucks. Let's be real. The only downside to bacon is that it takes forever to cook. Like, the best way to cook bacon is in the oven. And, like, preheating is a scam. I have an air fryer, and it still takes, like, 17 minutes. No preheating, but, like, still a scam. Preheating literally does nothing, not gonna lie. It is a scam. Like, ovens are just very inefficient ways to cook things. Because they require you to preheat. This is bullshit. How have I not picked up an assault rifle yet? There you go. Okay, there we go. I was gonna like, tell me the raids kill that guy.
Preheating literally does nothing, not gonna lie. I just throw my food in a cold ass toaster oven and <laughs> just take it out when it's done. Yeah, I wish that recipes didn't factor in preheating time. Like I wish the recipe was just like, you know, throw that bitch in there for 30 minutes instead of like preheat to 450 and then throw it in for 10 minutes. Like just factor in the oven heating up time with the cook time, you know? Also this is going terribly. Still save time. Different ovens heat up differently? Sounds like a skill issue to be honest. Should universalize that. Nice. Oh, I still get the frame drops here. That's unfortunate. I was hoping that would be fixed. What's up, Morgan College graduate? Did I figure out the Hertz issue from yesterday? Actually, yes. We just, 50 Hertz after doing the math is just better for everything. So what we are doing is uh, Nervy managed to fix the mod for keyboard and mouse to work on the PAL version. So now just playing on 50 Hertz is better. So we got the mod updated to work on PAL, and now that's just the move. That's world record. Shoot the big man machine mutant thing. Let's go, world record poggers. The IGT at the end is not gonna be accurate because I didn't make a new profile after I did the first attempt, but three. 106 beat, beat record by two minutes. Yeah, that's world record. <laughs>